10 tricks you can use to save a lot of money Yes, we've all heard about savings and we all know the importance of savings. We all know that we need to save a lot, especially for investment purposes, so that we can create more wealth and never run out of money. We know that we ought not to exhaust our whole paycheck on groceries and other valuable amenities we consider necessities for living. But how do we go about saving when it seems like a hard thing to do? You see, let me start by reminding you why you need to save. That you know that it is good to save money isn't enough motivation to start saving money. So, here's why you should start saving. 1. Saving gives you financial security. Have you ever tried saving some amount of money before? How did it make you feel? Let me guess, you felt rest assured that you had some amount of money you could fall back on easily should an emergency occur, right? Yes, that's the kind of financial security that comes from saving money. Now, imagine how happy and confident you'll be years from now when you must have developed your savings habit and realized that you have so much money in stock somewhere. Cara Perez, who founded Bravely, a resource that aims to empower women by providing them with the tools and education to reach their financial goals, says, I love saving money because it means financial security. Plain and simple, having money makes your life easier. I save because I want my future self to have the same great lifestyle I have now and I don't want to get caught in a financial emergency. 2. Saving gives you some sort of freedom. When you save, you give yourself the freedom to choose what kind of life you want to live. You are not restricted or forced as a result of your financial capabilities. Eric Roberts, a certified financial planner and founder of Beyond Your Hammock, a financial planning firm that specializes in giving financial advice to people in their 30s, says, It has nothing to do with the money and everything to do with giving yourself flexibility and choice in your life. When you have money available in the bank, you can do what you want without stress. As a matter of fact, Robert suggests labeling your savings account as your Build Wealth Fund or your Freedom Fund. 3. Saving help you take calculated risk It's only when you have some extra cash locked somewhere that you can think of taking certain calculated risk like starting a business or considering investment opportunities like real estate, stocks and bonds. For instance, Matt Becker a certified financial planner and the founder of Mom and Dad Money, a financial planning practice focused on new parents, says, When I lost my job three years ago, my wife and I used that as an opportunity to start the businesses we'd been dreaming about, rather than scrambling to find another paycheck as quickly as possible. We could only make that decision because of the years we'd spent building our savings. Now that we understand the importance of savings and we know that we ought to save not just because it is good but because we know the benefits that come with it, let's consider how to go about it. In this video, we will be sharing with you 10 psychological tricks to save a lot of money. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Imagine your rich future self Picture your rich self in the future. Picture the excitement you get from the realization that you have a lot of money saved somewhere. What we sometimes fail to realize is that we are never too young to start making retirement plans or any other big investment plan even if you are in your 20s. Visualize the kind of house you want to buy, the kind of business you want to run and the kind of life you want to live. Use these to motivate your saving habit. Here's the trick. First, imagine what you want to save for. And then imagine how to effectively save to achieve your goals. 2. Start small You can't become an expert overnight. It takes time and patience to develop a habit. Hence, the need to start small. It might be a little challenging if you have to split your paycheck into two. One half for saving and the other half for expenses. You see, it will only be a matter of time before you give up on this new habit if you go about it the wrong way. Start by putting aside as little as $20 or 
or $50, depending on how fat your paycheck is. When you do this continuously for a long period of time, you must have trained your brain not to exhaust the whole of your paycheck to put some amount of money away into your savings account. With time, you increase the amount of money that goes into your savings account and your consistency will pay off in a few years when you realize that your savings have accumulated into a large sum of money. 3. Automate Deductions Most workplaces have the option of putting away a certain percentage of your earnings into a separate retirement account for you. Interesting, right? Perhaps you work in a company that does not offer such benefits. You can create yours. Open a separate savings account that you cannot withdraw from. Automate your bills and expenses by scheduling recurring payments. You can consider using certain apps that allows you to automate payments as well as keep a close eye on the progress of your savings with reminders and spending reports. 4. Set a reward That's right, set rewards. Let's take weight loss for an example. First, you set a goal which you work tirelessly towards until you achieve it by cutting down on your food intake as well as avoiding certain kinds of food with the promise that as soon as you achieve your dream weight, you'll take yourself to a treat. You can apply this same technique to saving. Start saving money until you reach a goal and then allocate a percentage of those savings to treat yourself to something that is not practical, say every three months. For instance, you could go for a spa treatment or manicure or a movie night out. This helps to take some of the pressure off and remind you that a good life is possible if you can save. 5. Convert prices into working hours Let's assume you make $50 per hour. Now, if you were to buy an item that costs $250, it means it will cost you 5 working hours to own that item. This should force you to analyze the necessity of that particular item at that moment. Is it worth it or not? 6. Create a waiting period When it comes to some money-making decisions, create a mandatory waiting period by sleeping on it. When you are sleeping, your unconscious mind processes the information from the previous day and analyzes it while you are dreaming. That way, you are forced to take a step back to prevent you from taking regrettable impulse purchases. 7. Try the stranger test Let's say you can't seem to take your eyes off a pair of shoes which cost $100 at the mall. Try the stranger trick to know if you really need to get that shoe. Picture a stranger holding the shoe in, in one hand and holding $100, the amount the shoe cost on the other hand. Which are you likely going to pick? The shoes or the money? If you go for the money, then that's your cue to take your eyes off the shoes. 8. Know the difference between needs and wants When you're looking to save money, you don't need that heavily financed car when there are plenty less financial demanding safe cars you can drive. Think objectively about your wants and your needs. Identify which is which and cut off the excesses by putting away what is left off your paycheck into your savings account after ensuring you have your basic needs met already. 9. Pretend you make less One trick to saving more money is assuming you earn less. That way, you can dictate a portion of your paycheck into your savings account. You can achieve this by automating your bills as discussed earlier. 10. Review your monthly statement If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Says Peter Drucker Austrian-born American management consultant, educator, and author. Having a monthly balance sheet can help you manage your money properly. Effectively managing your money will help you track your spending habits, which will in turn help you determine how to cut out the extra expenses by saving that extra cash. At the end of the month, you add up total expenses and income and add up your monthly profit or deficit. Again. We all want to develop good saving habits, but most times, we end up messing things up because we do not understand the basis for saving nor do we know how to. However, now that you have discovered these tricks, 
we hope you'd give saving an option. Thank you for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.